Howdy everybody and welcome back to the Cast Gaming Channel. James here once again and uh, I've got another Napoleonic Total War 3 mod replay for you guys today. But just as a reminder, I just, just want to let everybody know that the Cast Gaming Kickoff Channel NTW3 tournament is still underway with the first prize of $200. I'll have an update on that tournament as quickly as I can for you guys. But for today... I've got a special recreation of the Battle of Marengo fought in June of 1800, which is actually my birthday. Not the 1800 part, but the 14th. So every year on my birthday, this battle has a birthday as well. So we've got four armies of France, Italy today, and they're going to be fighting against the HRE Holy Roman Empire and as for the tactical breakdown of this map I've actually never played this map before but I've slowed it down a little bit so we can try and catch the action here but here's Marengo here here's the town uh, it's the four pointer which the coalition is trying to capture uh, I would recommend garrisoning this unit also garrisoning this Garrett excuse me garrison and garrisoning garrisoning I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. But anyway, putting some units in this house right here as well at the start of the battle as a great defensive position. They've already got some units right here in this house, which I was also going to recommend. And then there's another house back here, which you could use as an excellent fall fallback position. Uh, if you get overrun in the beginning stages, there's also this nice forested area right here, which I believe there's a little bit of a stream or river there, whatever you want to call it, little body of water going to be an excellent place to put some artillery down if you get overrun up front and then break up any cav charges in fact all along this line these cav charges are going to be broken up pretty much until you get more towards this open space connected with uh, the castle up here which is not really a castle it's more of a farmhouse or maybe it's called castell i'm not sure uh and then the code i'm sorry the imperials are just gonna bring up their reinforcements um there's four armies here there's one on the far left right all the way in the back it's going to take some time to come up for reinforcements uh we have this third army right here uh, that's going to take a little bit of time but help will, will help in the defense the first two starting the first two starting positions for the imperials are right up front next to each other which is why i recommend taking this house right here or these two houses at the beginning of the match because they're going to be excellent defensive positions there's also this house on the left side right here which if you have enough men, I recommend maybe putting in a low uh, quality unit and just to secure your line. But uh, it's most likely not going to be a factor and not really needed. You've got some excellent defensive positions here for artillery. You could probably put it behind this house at an angle a little bit, get some fire down on the HRE. You're going to be protected against cav charges due to the shrubbery and trees and uh, river that's right here. So that's going to be excellent for you. Also, more protection by the house um, if you really want we're keen to attack the coalition the coalition actually is kind of a narrow and um, starts off in a narrow path they have to come through this road right here they're gonna funnel a little bit they got a starting position a little bit close to this house right here you can see units are already moving around and then they also start uh, a little bit behind and on the right side in between the two in the um, the farmhouse here and the starting position of the Imperial so you're going to have the full might of the armies bearing down on you pretty darn quickly, um, at least at the beginning of the fight. It'll probably be a 3v2, which turns into a 4v2 pretty quickly. Uh, unless the additional army right here from France, Italy can come up and uh, support any attack on the flanks. But this is why securing this position right here is going to be vital so that you can hold off a, an attack not only from the front here, but from the side, which is, I believe, actually what happened in the initial battle. And then this uh, starting army right here is going to have to hold off the HRE army on this side, along with maybe funneling support, if they can, on this right side, until um, their allies can come up to hold off this uh, encroaching infantry. And if you are the coalition on this side today, basically... Uh, there's not much to your tech. It's, it's just going to be smash through the Imperials as quickly as you possibly can. And take the houses as quickly as you can. Because the houses are going to give you the most trouble. 
it's going to be very difficult to take houses in the, um, in this game. Well, I should say it is very difficult to take houses in this game under normal circumstances. Um, but defending by a house is even harder. So your job is going to be cut out for you, which is why the uh, part of the thing that's helpful for having all of your starting units together so that they can just smash through as quickly as possible and then head into this four pointer and capture the town of Marengo right here. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much the tactical breakdown. Like I said, there isn't that much to it for either side. So I will just go ahead and speed things up here. HRE is already advancing on both sides here. They need to be aggressive, especially on this side so that they can fold the flank. Don't be too scared of this artillery right here. It's an eight pounder, which is a pretty good artillery piece, but there's just one on the side. Excuse me. There's just one artillery piece on this side. And actually he's, if he doesn't set up here, he's going to overextend himself. He's actually, if he moves it over the river, he's going to take away the excellent defensive position, which I think he's going to do. And it's going to take time to set up instead of just firing right away and getting some casualties into the HRE. That's a little bit of a misstep here. HRE is moving up their cavalry a little bit. Looks like they're trying to get in. A little bit of scouting, maybe getting in some sleeping calf here. What they could actually do is poke some calf around here, try and get in behind the lines of the Imperials, and uh, maybe take out some unsuspecting cavalry, maybe get in a general snipe. If they're lucky, if this army right here needs to come up extremely quickly like it is and try and outflank the HRE on this side there's and then it also needs to do its best to link up in this center section here or in between the flanks I guess you would you would say um, so that either side does not completely get enveloped we've got some lines here forming already Let me just minimize that a little bit got some cavalry threatening the HRE HRE cannot form square now would be a good time to threaten the flank get some more you know, just you could probably just charge in your cavalry at this point and be um, behind the HRE. If HRE does not have any more cavalry of its own, I don't see it anywhere. There's a general unit right here. HRE needs to reposition its men to account for this cavalry right here. Got some interesting uni uniforms. You know, a lot of people don't play the HRE anymore, mostly because I think it's a it's a cav situation with the way the meta is set up in the game where um, cav is basically king. A little bit of a bird's eye view. Okay, here's the HRE cavalry. In fact, they were probably holding it behind their line so that the Imperials might not have been able to see it or hit them with artillery. Maybe trying to get a little bit of a sneak attack in there, which is not too bad. Looks like we've got some additional units coming up here. And let's see here. It's got the artillery placed here. Uh, again, this is good that the artillery is placed behind the lines. They're the eight pounders, so they've got the range. Just, I wouldn't have put it, I would have actually just plopped them right behind the river. That would have been the best spot for them. That way you've got protection against cab charges. Don't have to really watch them too much. Got some lines forming. Got a nice little angle right here with some stakes down to prevent some cav charges on that side. That's a good uh, stake placement right there. Covers a narrow gap. We've got France again taking this town. Uh, good job on them. We've got some horse artillery here pounding the HRE lines. HRE really needs to be aggressive. They need to push their uh, numerical advantage and location advantage as quickly as possible. It's going to take a long time for France all the way in the back here to come up they do have a long road straight up here to the left flank uh, but it's still gonna take them a long time a HRE can really pressure the Imperials pretty darn quickly need to reposition this unit guys it's just right for picking from cavalry got a cav charge happening right here in between the HRE and France some light cav against some heavy cav should get some reinforcements 
to help it out. Looks like the HRE cab is winning this engagement. Engagements along the lines here. And the French cab looks like it's in trouble. Which is very surprising actually. This cavalry is going to get enveloped pretty darn quickly. And what I think happened here is that the French player, instead of actually just matching cavalry unit to cavalry unit, say like Dragoon unit to Dragoon unit, putting a light unit against some heavy cab, Dragoon units against, uh, or HRE put in Dragoon units against light cab as well as heavy cab initially against the light cab units, which is I think what routed them. Need to reposition this unit, guys. Looks like they might have fallen back their infantry in the center, maybe trying to get France to overextend themselves. Got some more cab battles happening in the center section. Some infantry's been pushed up as well. Are they going, going to get lured into the stakes here? It looks like HRE actually has seen them and is going around bit by bit. They're going to have a difficult time taking this house as per typical um, when trying to take houses. HRE is set up here. Let's see if we can get a volley off. Come on, guys. Fire. Nope, he's gonna move. So sorry, I, I stayed there for nothing. France again is coming up here. Uh, HRE needs, again needs to be aggressive. They actually should be putting a rear guard against this uh, French faction right here and then actually just coming to smash and support uh, this isolated French unit. France has got another cab battle going off in the orchard area. Looks like it's a vineyard, actually. Again, I think there's something that actually happened in the in the uh, in the battle. Massive cavalry battle right here. It's pretty pretty darn nice actually. Those stakes are doing a good job. Whoever plays them down, I'm actually um, I pat you on the back because that was an excellent. Excellent move to put some stakes there. We've got a general unit here trying to support this French cap. And there's still some reinforcing French cap right here. In case anything is happening, HRE continue needs, needs to continue to be aggressive. Push back France. Get some grenadiers into this house. As many as you can. Follow up with some infantry to get the retreating French HRE has won the cat battle on this side. We've got some reinforcing cav units right here. It looks like they're a little bit hesitant to engage, especially with this um, Dragoon unit and heavy cav unit. Let's see, it's a Curacia unit. Yep. Looks like this is just light cav. Which could win if they outflank the outflank the HRE cav, but probably don't really want to do that. Looks like we've got some HRE advancement and a counter charge potentially. HRE managed to get into this France, let's see, infantry units, two infantry units, able to route them, well done, guys, the last thing that we need to do is grab this house here, and this is exactly what HRE needs to be doing, needs to be being aggressive towards France before the French reinforcements can come and support. We've got a French heavy cav. Yes, French heavy cav unit here coming to help out. HRE is doing a good job pushing up its infantry to support its cavalry and the infantry advancements in the initial engagement. 
See if we can check out what's going on here. HRE again. Uh, these guys, man. These guys. Nice, some nice cavalry, sh um, artillery shots into this cav here, but I'd be more concerned with coming to route the other two uh, French factions or French players first. I would rather just leave a rear guard here, but leaving their army here certainly is delaying French reinforcements on that side. And your army seem to be winning in the center engagement, so maybe not too bad of a choice at the moment. Looks like HRE's managed to get its cavalry to smash into the flanks of France right here. And while they're engaged, they're going to push up this infantry into a bayonet charge while the cavalry goes along the lines in support. Nice bayonet charge. Probably going to be able to route this French infantry unit pretty quick. France is going to have to fall back. At this point, they've overextended themselves. They've lost some units. Need to fall back, join their allies. Let their artillery do some more of the fighting here. Get some kills in as best as they can. Their allies also folding in the center section. They need reinforcements ASAP. And we've got some light infantry units, it looks like. I know this uh, Chasseur à pied and Incomparable are light infantry for sure. I'm assuming the Chasse... Oh, are they the same unit? No. Chasseur à pied, La Légion Noire. And consoles. A nice unit positioning right here. Guard consoles just destroying the HRE and you know what Napoleon himself put his guard console into battle in order to delay the enemy guard console forming square right here against this charge not going to be enough this cavalry is not going to be enough to break this square formation HRE while they're in square formation, should actually just be pushing into this guard console unit, even though the guard console is pretty darn good. And they're breaking. The, co the guard consoles are saving the day on that flank. Again, France is still retreating, fighting at the house. This is exactly what they should be doing. They need some infantry units inside of this house. That's really where the infantry needs to be at the moment. He could be taking them out of the house because he's looking to retreat from this section. Uh, but if you're going to form a line battle here, you need units in the house. Absolutely, it's going to be doing some excellent damage to morale, getting some units at this cab unit back here, getting unit um, anything that's coming around. Plus, you'll be able to defeat units inside the house pretty easy. Let's check out this far section of France. The artillery, it looks like, was charged and taken out at some point. General unit has come up to support its infantry. We've got some cav battles with some heavy cav coming off here. A retreating Dragoon unit. This unit looks like it's formed square. I'd back off your cav if you could, HRE. You're not going to win this fight against this heavy cav unit. <laughs> I think the French guns are still, yep, still in place. Might have been actually hit with some Kev. And we've got a counter charge against some Dragoons versus some light Kev from France. And it routed them. Well done, sir. We've got some guard console eight pounders. I don't know if this is static artillery or not. But it seems to be doing the trick, and if I was, if I had some extra artillery, getting them into these uh, cavalry units, these large cavalry units, would be my priority. And let's see if we can see the um, final France Italy player coming up. Maybe he's finally coming up in support. These French units from the center were routing. And it looks like he's getting some. He's sending his light infantry on the left flank and he might be sending his other infantry in order to support the center, splitting up his army. 
which actually might be the best move here so that you can secure the flank. HRE might have lost a little bit too much men so that it cannot push any farther. Get some squareable infantry to protect against this cab that's gotten to the back lines. As of rightness, right now, this artillery is free to fire into the lines. And if I was the HRE, I'd be sending my cab to attack this artillery. Taking out that artillery piece would be my priority on that side. It's good to see that we've got um, a light infantry inside the house. Well done. Excellent placement. Plenty of protection of quick, fast-firing, shooting, accurate unit inside the house. is just what you guys need in order to secure that flank. France has formed up a line just outside of this town area. They still have this house to fall back into. Now there's this big huge gap right here in the center position which HRE needs to be more aggressive. They need to be exploiting this separated section from these French line units. You've got a few line units on this house. You need to be pushing your other infantry units either into this flank or you need to be all out assaulting these guys in the center here with some cav support if you've got any artillery support it would be useful on, on these infantry units as well. Again, on this far left flank as we go back to it, just kind of static. I think neither side really feels that it has the advantage, but however, I think you'll see that uh, this French player will feel a little bit more emboldened once these forces arrive. Now that he's still got his artillery, it looks like the reinforcing France unit that started all the way in the back probably sent his calf to back up the center section here so that it would not be completely overrun. We've got a couple line units here that cannot form square, so Cav can get after them. Looks like we've got some Cav that pushed into some HRE units that are now routing. Some additional Cav, some heavy Cav being pushed up here. Be careful, guys. They move uh, pretty slow. It actually might have been a better bet to have some infantry go in front of this cavalry unit so that you won't take additional fire from these line units right here. And you need to really just pull back your dragoons. You need to pull back your light cav. They're just going to take fire. You can see them go down in the background. You need to be aware of your micro in this instance. HRE still got its artillery. These guys are within canister shot range, so be careful. Looks like France is retreating through the river. I think right now you probably don't have enough infantry on this side to be able to hold. So what you do is you either fight in the forest or retreat and fight at this house. Just make sure that your army does not collapse on that left side. Excellent artillery placement. Well done. You're protected on the right flank here from cav charges, basically. And you're getting some excellent enfilading fire on these HRE units. HRE shouldn't be too worried about these uh, skirmishers here. They're at less than half strength. Really should just be charging forward to route them as quickly as possible. They may be a little bit afraid of this reinforcing our, um, infantry right here along with the artillery battery and maybe some additional cavalry. I don't think any of these units can form square, so there they go. We've got some light cav charging at some artillery. It looks like they were at least able to touch the artillery, so that artillery is not going to be able to move, but they're going to route. And now HRE is getting bogged down at this house, which is exactly what you don't want. Some howitzers somewhere along the lines. Looks like they're fighting some. A couple units of light infantry. I think the light infantry unit is still in the house there. And if I was the HRE, I wouldn't be at this static house right here. I'd be pushing through, going around the house, and 
getting as many units to attack the center section as I possibly could. And once you do that, the um, French player is forced to attack your units at that point and pull them out of the house, which you can then occupy. Or you can continue to pressure Italy's center and bend them back. You need to... The thing about this map, if you're the HR, you start out with the numbers and um, superiority, but you need to capitalize on that as quickly as possible because the French reinforcements come and you probably have taken a lot of damage from the um, great defensive position that France starts out in the beginning of the match. Let's see. France on this right side has really been pretty much routed. They've only got a few units left. HRE should dispose of these guys pretty quickly. Push up your infantry really quick. Get them across this river if you can. If the uh, French player is fool enough, foolish enough to stand and fight you, you can just round, route these inf remaining infantry units and then go, go ahead and help out your allies. And uh, you need to turn this unit left a little bit. Start firing at this light infantry unit, which is, a, I think this is the best light infantry unit that um, France Italy has. Just charge them into the back. Just start charging. Bayonet, it's time to bayonet charge everything here along the lines. There's no calf support, plus you need to go out and help your allies as quickly as possible. France is still holding on this left section. They've fallen back through the forest. Now they're outside of the forest, and I would actually recommend just retreating at this point since they're not going to fight at this house. They've lost the protection of the forest. They're going to be outflanked a little bit. Looks like we had a little bit of a cab charge here, maybe trying to get some artillery. Which looks like it was able to route this side. This section is weak. Getting some light cav unit into the backs of the skirmishers. Probably going to be able to route them. Some additional reinforcements are going to route this skirmisher unit. And it broke. It's going out. HRE taking way too much time. It shouldn't even, Again, it should be bypassing this house. Getting around the flanks. Either just all out assaulting these units right here. And France will have to chase you. Or it'll come out and hit the uh, backside of Italy on this, on this left flank. But just being static and fighting at the house is not the best idea for you guys at the moment. And they've got two units in this house now. Yeah, they've got two units of light infantry in the house. That's even worse for you guys. So recommend not fighting at that position. France, Italy on this flank, on this right flank has completely collapsed. Let's see all the reinforcing units from the back French faction have arrived different sections looks like we've got a cab charge here into the artillery the artillery is completely exposed it's gonna be routed here pretty darn quickly we'll just watch the destruction bye bye now, uh, France Italy can run down HRE on this section since France is a much, especially France Italy is a much faster moving army, so they can accomplish that. However, it might be best to actually take the reinforcements and help out against HRE in the center, do their best to protect this house. They can probably fold up HRE. HRE is just way too static at this position Let's see I think they have some houses here yes they've got some houses there which hopefully will help them but France on this side they're being outflanked and if they're smart what they'll do is start retreating they'll start kiting getting a volley out excuse me getting a volley off and then they'll retreat or they'll just retreat as they're doing right now to keep their army intact. Which is exactly what they need to be doing. Worst case scenario, they fall back to this house position right here. HRE has to come after them. 
since this is their objective and they're gonna have a difficult time breaking that section of the line being next to a house here meanwhile this this HRD faction cannot do anything but run away eventually it's gonna be caught at the edge of the map and they will no longer be able to run they'll be forced to fight so running away is not a good option at this moment for the HRE, other than maybe temporarily distracting France on that side so it cannot reinforce the center or right flank. Looks like France is winning this side. They might be going in for a bayonet charge. Hitting some flanking fire. Nope, they're just pushing up here. Nice volleys into the tree and HRE. Musket fire and dead horses glistening in the sun. HRE guys, you gotta be aggressive. You gotta be super aggressive. This unit has exposed its flank to your infantry units on this far left side. You've got the superiority. This unit's formed square. It's actually just getting charged right now, which is exactly what you do in that scenario with your units. Charge the squares with bayonets. And that square formation routed. France needs to continue to fall back. Unfortunately, France is falling back more towards this left side towards their center which actually might not be too bad of an idea since this right side would be protected and then the HRE would be forced to fight on a narrower front instead of this open side and your flanks would not be as exposed to cavalry so it's actually probably the better position got a uniform square here HRE needs to bayonet charge that again Protect his cavalry units here. And here comes the HRE. You're facing the wrong way, good sir. One unit was sacrificed to try and save the rest. We've got some more cav battles in the center section. This HRE cav should be enough to overwhelm this Fassar unit. If it wasn't, I'd be very surprised. Uh, we've just got a general unit inside the house. There should have been an infantry unit put inside there. Regrettably, I don't see one. They've got the cannons pointed at the HRE, so at least the cannons are in the right direction. French is, or France is sending the remainder of its infantry to protect the cannons and its right flank. Just getting overwhelmed on the right side with Cav. And this was a big misstep not to be not to put in some infantry inside this house it would have been an excellent defensive position just like you had houses earlier in the match on this far left side hre has just kind of run away and at this point seeing the hopelessness of his situation this player might have actually dropped or they're just doing their best to get these reinforcements away from the center section to give their allies time to to mop up here and take the objective and this is your objective guys this is the four pointer this is the so the sole LOC on this map I 
HRE has completely bypassed this with only a general unit inside. They're getting greedy. They just want to destroy the French infantry. It seems to be their entire goal. Now France still has some units left. To counter the HRE, I don't know if they have any cavalry left. But essentially, HRE has not taken this position. HRE running their armies, tiring them out. I don't recommend you guys do this. A lot of the units are just tired or extremely exhausted. HRE is going to take a lot of um, a lot of damage. They're just units are not going to be effective. Even their cavalry is exhausted. It looks like HRE is going for a bit of a gamble to just charge their units in melee combat against France here. France is routing this infantry unit just from firing a volley into it. Another unit is routing. Some more infantry units being charged in the center lines. These units are also tired. France is just getting free shots on these infantry units. Going after the flank of this additional French unit. Meanwhile, allowing France to get some more shots on them. And HRE is just not trading their infantry effectively. There's about four, maybe five units that have routed from the HRE. Meanwhile, France, France is still active. It's got a lot more stamina at the moment. And it's just firing volleys into the lines of the HRE. Broken lines, exhausted, routing from the field. HRE is just trying to overwhelm this French position. The morale for this line unit is already shaky. We've got some more infantry trying to charge, but it's getting itself charged by some French Lancers. And France is actually just going to be able to kite HRE at this point. HRE's tired itself out. You see the morale just dipping in these center units on this flank as well. Just not trading their units effectively. HRE is trying to get around the flank with some exhausted units. But France should be able to just kite them. All the way back even to this house. Yeah, there's some cavalry here in the back lines. But it is exhausted. Nice volley. Beautiful volley from this light infantry unit from from France and it was able to write, uh, route this heavy cavalry because it was exhausted and slow moving. Some more heavily damaged Dragoon units that are exhausted. There is a Curassier unit here that's damaged but still fresh. It's in the fight. Look at all this morale from the HRE. All these units have just had their morale damaged. They're exhausted. And this is the consequence for running your units too much and putting them too much in the fight when they should not be, especially when you're the HRE or you're a, or a um, faction like Austria or potentially Prussia, is that your infantry units can become tired quickly. So you need to be careful with that. Some... Uh, Looks like this Curassier unit, this heavy cab unit, 
is being charged, although it's taking fire and it itself is being charged in the flank by some Lancers. However, I don't think this Lancer unit is going to be able to do too much. And this Kurasi unit has just taken too much damage for it, it to be very effective. It's already tired. And France is putting up one heck of a fight against HRE, even though it's being, although it is heavily outnumbered. HRE is continuing to run its units on the flank. They're all exhausted or extremely tired. France just continues to kite. Get some units into this house, France, and you need to make your stand at this house with your general unit. Put a light infantry unit in this house. We've got some reinforcements from France finally coming. All the HRE army from this far left side, I had forgotten about it actually, uh, is now gone. And now all of the French reinforcements are coming over and HRE is gonna be in a world of hurt. Now the HRE was able to take this house here so they technically hold the LOC, they technically technically obtained their objective however there is still 22 minutes left in this match an entire french army still in this with some additional reinforcing cab units they hold this loc point this is going to be too much for the hre i think i think hre overextended themselves tired themselves out And if anything, they should not have engaged this French army right here. What they should be doing right now is they should be falling back to the LOC that they hold in Marengo. And then they should just continue to put up a defense at that position. Since there's not going to be any additional... So, since there's only about 20 minutes left in the match and there's not going to be any additional reinforcements other than this intact army coming from France on the HRE's left flank at the moment they don't they should have learned the lesson at the beginning of this battle where they took a ton of casualties just trying to take this house position instead of just going around it HRE is either going to meet France on this left side or they are retreating to the house probably going to meet France on that side just trying to make sure there aren't any additional units. They were able to take this house. But I, I would take these units out of this house right here. This is a Grenadier unit. This is a highly useful unit that you could be... Um, that you desperately need at your front immediately. It's just not doing anything. You're wasting a lot of resources just sitting in that house here. HRE is coming to meet France. But this French... Um, this French player right here has a fresh army. They have some casualties, that's true, but this HRE player is extremely tired. His, all of his units are exhausted or tired. Not to mention the other half of his army is fixated on this position. Meanwhile, France can actually just kite HRE again on this side if he really, really needed to. Looks like there's a French cavalry charge against this line infantry. Looks like he did it against the side. I would have actually gone behind the HRE if he could have, but it looks like it's good enough since their units are tired. Good enough to route these infantry units. He's actually shooting his own units in the back. Need to be careful about that, guys. At this point, France can actually just start putting its infantry units into melee combat against this left flank. Even if this uh, Chasseur à Cheval unit routes, even if it's lost, it still managed to help route one, two, three, four, five, six, six HRE units. 
potentially seven now that this additional unit is routing. And now this left flank is just collapsing. Looks like the attack on the side has run out of steam and uh, there's not really much left for the HRE to player to do except for retreat. I'd recommend retreating back to this house. Did he finally take the Grenadier unit from this house? Nope, looks like it's still in there. That was a big oversight. HRE is going to try and retreat here back to the town of Marengo. But France is just too quick going to be able to catch them. Looks like the howitzers were moved up, but they're going to be taking a lot of fire from this. I'm sorry, this, this artillery was finally moved up. I didn't see this artillery all game. I don't know what it's doing here now. They just had a howitzer battery, but... It's finally being moved up and being used. Could probably get some excellent canister shots. Maybe we can get a, a volley off or something like that. Of course, it seems like every time I try to zoom in on artillery this match, they just would not fire volley. Or infantry, rather. We'll see what happens. It's going to be uh, no luck again here. So it looks like France was able to win the melee battle on this side, but they lost it on the other. They'll be able to get these guns. No problem. We've got some additional reinforcements. Nothing to worry about against the HRE. HRE again in full retreat. They're going back to the road. Instead, they should be fighting at this house location right here. This is going to... This really needs to be their final stand, or maybe they're thinking about making a final stand at this house right here. This is not the position, I think, that I would fight in. I would fight probably at this house position, since this house has more windows, I believe, so it could be, uh, have more fire to bear down on France, but I am also not in control of that faction, so there you go. Brave artillery crew charging into action with their swords. Brave but foolish. And there's still some additional artillery from HRE. HRE's got this way too far up on the line. Common mistake that I see with players. Artillery is just way too far up on the line. The infantry, it really needs to be a little bit behind, if not more so behind the infantry unit, so it can be protected from cavalry charges or infantry charges and musket fire. forming its lines here. Let's see. Out of the units are still very tired. This looks like it's putting up its last hand here. Yep. Looks like this unit probably took a volley. Got some men cut down, and that's the end of the artillery. And that's exactly why I say don't put your artillery on the line. Some good volleys, and it's lost. Let's see, some more light infantry units here. 
Oh, we've actually got Bonaparte's on the field here, commanding his army. There he is. About 13 minutes left to go in the match. This line infantry is folding. And as it goes, it looks just like units all along the lines or what's left of the lines are just breaking. This center section will probably go pretty quickly. But that should pretty much be the end of the HRE here. France has got some infantry units inside the house. There's a damaged line unit along with the general unit might not be enough yep France has retaken Marengo here although I would argue it should never have been lost but all arguments aside HRE was actually able to uh, push through France. They destroyed the center section and the right flank of the Imperials, uh, but were not able to capitalize on their advancement. They ran out of steam. Um, and they also just did, once they got past the initial section, they just stayed too long fighting at the house, did not push the center open ground quickly enough and lost their advantage just took way too many losses in, in their push as well and then because their advance slowed down and that they did not continue to push the final remaining reinforcements from the far left flank were able to come back and help the center section in the defense of the cities and uh in the houses but uh, good game to everybody I'll go ahead and fast forward this good game to everybody that was actually a really cool game I really appreciated this match uh, I like the back and forth and uh, I like the historical aspect of it and a lot of historical comparisons to the actual battle which uh, turned out pretty similar not not 100% exact to the actual battle but uh, uh, close enough we'll say or at least for me anyway I don't know about you guys but anyway it was an Imperial victory. I actually thought for a little bit that uh, HRE was actually going to come out on top, but they ran out of steam. But anyway, guys, uh, I'll go down the, the list here for you. So we've got uh, Retin as the Imperial um, Army number one, playing as France, Italy number one. Uh, since everybody is playing France, Italy, I don't know who is who, so I apologize. Um, but uh, anyway, they had 2,483 kills. Stand was playing as France Italy Army number two with 1,511. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Something Icham La Chambre Gaza, La Chambre Gaza. I, I'm not sure how you pronounce this. Um, with 1,065 kills, Honorable 762 was playing as the next Imperial player as, and had a, a kill count of 1,122. Tournaments Esther A was playing as HRE faction number one with 1,807 kills. Sirius was playing as HRE faction number two with 841. Letany Shalal, hopefully I said that correctly, playing as HRE faction number three with 362 kills. And Jaku, Jaquau, I'm not sure how you say this again, 1,286 kills for this player. And this was Stan's army, I believe, and uh, La Belle Mustache was playing, was uh, the unit with the highest kill count with 249, I think is 
I believe this is French for the beautiful mustaches. Pretty cool, guys. All right, that's going to do it for me. Let me know if you enjoyed this battle in the comments section. And I will catch you guys on the next one.